everyone, it's Sammy. This is going to be uh, a long-awaited continuation of my iconic blondes videos. Uh, you have been wanting to do this for a while. I don't remember who originally requested this, maybe three or four weeks ago, and I just haven't had the time to do it, but now I do. And I, um, I also was, I was pinning pictures on Pinterest. I re-watched the movie, I think, two weeks ago, and I just love her look in it. It's that kind of... 60s inspired with smoky eyes. I love the kind of half up. I put my extensions in for this one because my hair isn't really long enough for this. Half up, half down hair. She's pretty much always wearing a smoky eye in the film. I um, even when she's cooking, which I find quite cool actually. I might you know start wearing a smoky eye for you know a little bit of cooking, and uh, she just looks stunning in it. It's no wonder that Jude Law falls for her in the movie. I. Um, well, I think they actually fell in love for real when they were making the movie and that's how they met, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, um, I, will sh I will check this fact. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love her look in the movie. It's so um, kind of 60s inspired sex kitten. Even though the movie's set in uh, modern days, I think it must be a nod to the original movie. And I think the original movie was done in 66, so maybe, not sure. But um, yes, so without further ado, let's get started. For my foundation, I'm going to use my trusted MAC Face and Body in C3. This I'm totally back in love with. It's just a beautiful foundation. I'm going to mix it half and half, so half C3 and half strobe cream. Um, Sienna Miller's skin is really glowy in the uh, movie, so this is a really good way to add like that uh, je ne sais quoi kind of glow. So I'm just mixing it in the back of my hand, let's get kind of a mess like that. I'm mixing it with my finger and then you'll see in a minute how I just really kind of very quickly apply it with my fingers. And just work it into the skin. I'm just using a little bit of Studio Sculpt concealer, MAC Studio Sculpt, where I need it because uh, MAC Face and Body is not a high coverage and I have a couple of little spots lurking around. And I always tend to do under the nose anyway. For the base of my eyelid, I'm going to use Toughest Topes by Maybelline and I'm going to use my amazing Tom Ford 03 concealer and eyeshadow brush and I'm going to do the whole moving part of the eyelid Once I get to close to the crease, I'm going to start kind of thinking of the shape a little bit so I'm going to lift the eye out, kind of want to make it a little bit more cat-like so to speak. So I'm just going to extend the outer corner here a little bit and fill it in. Then I'm going to take the color under my lash line as well and just do the whole way all the way to the inner corner. I'm going to take MAC Scene and my Sigma, what is this, E55 brush, and I'm just going to set that toughest taupe with it. This is very, very similar color, just a little bit darker. And then I just take a 217 and blend the edges. You don't have to be too careful yet at this point. And I'm running under my lash line as well. Next I'm going to use a colour called Vintage Blue by Agnes B. I'm in love with this colour. It has a cute little denim pocket on it. This is a very grey blue and I'm just going to keep using the same Sigma brush and I'm going to layer it over the grey. This colour is, it's amazing on its own as well, but this, the kind of denim vintage blue color really comes into its own when it's layered with other colors. I am so in love with it. 
I'm kind of concentrating more on the moving part of the eyelid, not really taking it high up because when this mixes with the your skin color, I don't think the kind of greeny cast that it brings is that attractive. And again, blend that out. Then I'm going to keep using the same blending brush and I'm going to take MAC Mystery, which is a cold brown. I prefer to use a brown for this rather than a black. It just warms it up a little bit and makes it a whole lot more wearable and a whole lot more flattering. And I'm doing above the crease and also kind of blending it out. kind of like pulling it out here at the outer corner a little bit. Also taking it under the eye but just ever so slightly. And just keep blending. Very important. Like always. I'm just cleaning up the fallout with a foundation brush. I'm taking Urban Decay Perversion and I'm doing upper lash line, lower lash line and waterline. And I'm just really kind of smudging it in. This does not have to be precise. And when I say smudging it in, I just broke the tip of that. <laughs> okay. New tip. So I'm doing water, top and bottom waterline. Work it into those lashes. A couple of coats of my new favorite mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact, I think it's Extreme Volume it's called. And I'm just gonna do a couple of quick coats of that because I'm gonna put on fake lashes so I'm not too specific on how I put the mascara on. Fake lashes, these are the my favorite Red Cherry 43s. Uh, I'm gonna pop these on and I'll be right back. Sienna Miller's eyebrows are always great. Um, I do like a blonde with kind of slightly darker eyebrows, so I'm gonna use a MAC Lingering. This is a shade darker than I would normally use. I normally use Fling, and I'm just going to really fill them in. I love these pencils. But always with a pencil, always brush afterwards to get rid of any clumps and since it is sticking to your skin it kind of blurs it out as well. I'm not going to do too much concealing under the eyes. I'm using my Giorgio Armani Mastro Eraser in a number two my favorite and my Sigma P84 angle blending brush this is great for um, under the eyes I absolutely love it I'm lightly setting the under eyes with bourgeois flower perfection this powder smells amazing but I'm being really kind of light-handed with the powder because I want the look to remain glowy so I'm doing under the eyes, kind of under the nose. I actually won't do the tip of the nose, just here where I get slightly larger pores and then between the eyebrows. Just kind of blending it out a bit and a bit on the chin. So I'm not really going to use blush, I'm going to use uh, bronzer. I'm using the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay, I think this is Park Avenue Princess, one of my favorites. And I'm using it with a Bobbi Brown blush brush. The way I'm going to do bronzer is, a um, similar way that I've noticed that Sienna Miller does it often, is she really kind of, instead of doing contouring, she really goes where the sun would hit her. So really go on the tops of your cheekbones, bridge of your nose, and then forehead. It's not so much about contouring for her, as opposed to kind of getting that look that you're just off of holiday. 
So if you think about it, um, kind of like the sun is not going to hit you in the hollow of your face, it's going to hit you on the high points of your face. If you want to make it look like the tip of your nose is sticking up, leave the tip alone and just in the middle of the nose put a little bit of bronzer there. So the tip stays lighter and this one recedes. I'm adding a little bit of extra glow with Illa Masco Gleam and I'm just using my fingers. I'm doing a cupid bow and the tops of my cheekbones. For lips, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Eye Designer. Yes, it is an eye pencil in Taupe 403. I'm just going to line my lips. Try it, you'll be surprised. And as lipstick, I'm going to use the MAC color in Plink, it's one of my favorites. It is a luster. So that's the look finished. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Um, it's a really nice look for an eye dad, I think. It's just so flattering. Um, and <laughs> there's nothing else to say. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And um, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And uh, I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.